Welcome to PN Talks. My name is Mari Manugian, and I'm the state representative for Michigan's 40th House District in the Michigan Legislature. I have been passionate about public service um, as long as I can remember. Um, both my parents were really involved in our local community, and so I had really good role models and examples for um, what it's uh, like to be an engaged member of society. Um, and so from there, I was really drawn to um, national security uh, at the federal level, and so that's how I served at the United States Department of State. Um, but I also kept a really close eye on what was happening in Michigan, um, and so that's what really drew me to run for office, the fact that um, folks in our state couldn't be guaranteed uh, safe, clean drinking water, um, public education in our state was being gutted, um, and students weren't getting the resources they needed, and teachers were feeling like they were um, being overburdened, and they weren't getting the help they needed either in the classroom. Um, and then also just the, the complete deterioration of our public infrastructure, including roads and bridges, and all of that really uh, drew me to serve um, and drew me to run for office. One of the biggest lessons I learned while on the campaign trail was uh, to really have perseverance. It's a marathon and not a sprint. Um, I ran for office for more than a year, uh, and so being able to have the patience and the determination to make it through that really long period of time where some days things were really slow and other days things were coming at my team and I pretty quickly, um, making sure that I always kept in the back of my mind that we were doing this for the people and that this was a movement that was bigger than just myself or you know the people around me, but this was about everyone in my district. So making sure I kept that perspective throughout the entire election process is what really kept me going. A typical day is pretty atypical. Um, every day is a little bit different, but Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays uh, typically is when the Michigan House of Representatives is in session, so I spend time in Lansing. I wake up around 5.45 in the morning, get ready to, and uh, head to work. It's about an hour and a half drive to the state capitol from my district, and uh, I usually ride up with another representative, and so the two of us are able to kind of, uh, you know, talk about what we think is going to happen for the day, share experiences in the different committees we serve in. Um, and then I have a bunch of different meetings or committees. Uh, so sometimes I have committee usually around 9 o'clock in the morning uh, where people come in and they testify about legislation or they speak about different priorities they have that are about the topics of the committees I serve on. Um, sometimes I meet with people who are public advocates in the community. Um, occasionally lobbyists for different uh, organizations will come in and speak to us about legislation that, that's a priority of their client. Um, and then we'll go and I'll either take a vote on the floor of the House or the House will be in session and uh, you know, we'll be introducing student groups that come into the legislature um, and spending time with our colleagues on the floor, building those relationships that are really important to getting legislation done. People will know that I had a lot of fear and self-doubt throughout the election, and I think that's pretty normal for any first-time candidate, uh, especially a young woman running for office for the first time. But what I will say is, again, making sure you keep everything in perspective. Try to make sure you take time to um, do the things that make you happy. Um, making sure that you are in the right mindset when you're campaigning is one of the most important things. Um, and make sure that you are you know, rest and energized and well-fed and you're ready to go for the day. So um, you know, those fears and those doubts will sometimes creep in but if you do the things that make you happy the most um, and you make sure you carve out time for yourself and to spend time with your family and friends while you're running for office um, you'll be in the best shape possible mentally to make sure you're uh, able to keep the fight up so the first thing I will say is uh, definitely do it um, and whether that means uh, to run for office yourself or find a candidate that you find um, you know that aligns with your values and that you're passionate about serving alongside um, make sure you get involved and so um, reaching out to people in the Armenian community who have those same experiences like myself I'm always happy to mentor uh, young Armenians um, that's something I'm really passionate about doing as a newly elected state legislator especially in Michigan but always happy to hear that call from anybody else as well being Armenian American has really impacted the way that I see the world and I talked about it often on the campaign trail and I still talk about it as a state legislator. I think the experiences that our families have had, uh, whether they just immigrated to this country or they immigrated several generations ago like my family did, um, the Armenian American story is inherently an American story. It's something that you know, we, I see uh, our family story relates to my colleagues' stories, whether they immigrated from Mexico or from Haiti, like some of my colleagues uh, have as well. Those stories are inherently the fabric of America. And so, you know, when I talk about being an Armenian American, I don't just talk about being an Armenian American, although that's incredibly important. I talk about it from the perspective of, um, you know, the United States of America is built on uh, immigrant families um, and those who escaped genocide and unfortunately those who were enslaved when they came here. And so thinking about it from that perspective um, is really something that I think is important when we're making legislation today to make sure we're serving all people in our state. 
Oh, the best piece of advice I've ever received. Um, so one of the things that I heard uh, when I first got elected to office is that um, you should vote your conscience first and your district second and your party third. Um, and in terms of being a legislator, I think that's the best advice I've ever received because I feel that if I can build trust within my community, um, that they trust me to make a good decision when I go to vote, even if uh, a lot of folks disagree with that vote, I'm always uh, happy to come home and explain why I voted the way that I voted um, because my community put their faith and trust in me that I would do the right thing. So even if I take a tough vote, um, you know, I always want to make sure that I'm coming home to explain that you know, this was something that I felt was incredibly important and here are the reasons why.